Hello, everybody. Anthony Crane here with Pocket Coach. And today, let me get my screen sharing going uh, and let me start my five minute timer. Um, today's a very quick experiment, I believe, the Agile Reading List experiment. So let's talk about it. Um, the problem some people learn by reading, but are unsure what to read to gain a fundamental understanding of Agile. So for those who like to read to learn, if we could just give them some guidance, they could, they, they could jump ahead of a lot of people who don't love to read to learn. So here's the hypothesis. If we review um, books on a reading list, um, this will allow people to engage in a read to learn journey. And everyone on the team has a minimum bar of reading the Agile Manifesto and the Scrum Guide. Um, so if we can get that baseline going and some additional reading for those who like it, that would be very um, a big accelerator for many of our team members. Uh, this is a 15 minute experiment, the whole thing. So there's fit to persevere, you just listen to it and you're done. Um, this should increase in engagement and also your team KPI should go up. Uh, and finally, skill growth. Um, in order to get through this experiment, all you have to do is read the Agile Manifesto, read the Scrum Guide, and understand the other books on the reading list. Okay, so let's dig into the experiment itself. So um, I have here an actual reading list. You don't have to use mine, but you can if you don't have a better. Um, so first off, what makes this reading list a little bit more interesting is that it gives you the book and it gives you the amount of time it should take you to get through it. And we put it in order of shortest to longest. So basically, um, shortest job first. So read the short stuff first and also the ones that are first are happen to be the most valuable as well. So basically an hour and 20 minutes of reading bare minimum for everyone on the team. And then the rest of the stuff is elective for those who read and learn. Um, so the first one is the Agile Manifesto. Take you 20 minutes, literally Google Agile Manifesto and you will uh, see it. It's just four Agile values and 12 principles. You may disagree with them. You may be confused, but later they all make a lot more sense. So again, free, just Google it. Number two, the Scrum Guide, also free. There's a link to it here, but again, if you just Google Scrum Guide, you'll find it. You can read it online or download a PDF for free. And look at this, it says just 16 pages, right? But guess what? They uh, Every time they release it, it's gotten bigger and bigger. And I've always said that you should simplify things in later releases. And guess what? Now it's 13 pages. So 13 pages um, to read the Scrum Guide. Uh, and again, that should take you no more than an hour. Uh, actually, there are some people who have, I guess, read the Scrum Guide on YouTube. So you can just listen to it when you're on a walk or something. And man, I kind of want to do that. So I might do the same. Just read the Scrum Guide to y'all and you guys can listen to it on a recording instead of having to read it if you are a listen to learn over a read to learn kind of person. All right, next up is Elements of Scrum uh, by Sims and Johnson. This is going to take you four to eight hours, but it's a very light read. It's, uh, it's, it's fun to read, but it really teaches you Scrum quite well. The very first time I ever had to work on an Agile team, this is the book I read, and I was there to be a coach, even though I hadn't done a lot of Agile myself at that point in my career. Um, so on an airplane, I read this book cover to cover, and when I landed, I was able to walk in the door and be very, very helpful as a coach. So definitely recommend Elements of Scrum a long time ago. Um, Cone wrote a book called User Stories Applied. If you just look at part four, you can read the whole book, it's great. But if you just look at part four, it'll take you about two hours. Uh, so I guess these are not in chronological order like I implied at the beginning here. Um, if you read just part four, it reads like um, uh, a good finished example. And I, and I find that just that two hours, really, if you spend 30 minutes, you're gonna learn a lot more about story writing than you will by reading the whole rest of the book. In other words, looking at a bunch of examples is more powerful than reading a bunch of syntax and stuff like that. So I like this really for part four. Uh, if you guys are into Kanban, then the best book, the, the best article is David J. Anderson's Kanban. Um, and there's also a Kanban booster. It's a PDF. I happen to have that in the library as well. You know what? I'll throw the PDF in this folder. So if you do go into this folder, you'll not only see um, the reading list, but you'll also see the Kanban PDF. Um, now, projects to products this is getting more advanced, but this is my favorite thing to coach on these days. Favorite, pretty close, um, is moving away from project thinking to, into product thinking. And this book by Mick Kirsten, Projects to Products, was phenomenal. I listened to it on audio, and it was a really good reader for it. Uh, understand why you should move away from project focus, why it's so important, how to do it. And Safe 5.0, they adopted tons of this content into Safe, so it'll also give you a head start if you happen to be a Safe fan. And finally, this one here is kind of niche, a software project manager's bridge to agility. This is for people who are PMI certified and are like, help me understand how Agile works in the context of PMI. So if you're not PMI certified, stay away from this book. But if you know the PMI, you got a PMBOK certification, then by all means, read this and it'll actually map concepts in a way that can be helpful for you to begin that journey. Um, so that's it. That's my reading list. What's important here? 
have a reading list for people who read to learn, consider putting how much time it takes to read it, put a reason why you it made the reading list. Start with this one, create your own. But anyway, that's the experiment. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. My name is Anthony Crane, and I will catch you on the next video. I'm going to stop my sharing and stop my recording. Bye-bye.